We made this video in collaboration with our good friends at The Richest. Stay tuned to the end to see their amazing video. Every year around August, summer comes to an end and teens start preparing to go back to school. If you are one of these teens and you need a few tips for your upcoming school year, we've got you covered. From studying techniques to cafeteria hacks, we're exploring everything you need to know before your big day. If you're new to The Taco, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. Today, we are revealing 20 things every teenager should know for back to school. Just wait until we show you this easy hack that will make preparing for a test a breeze. Stay tuned to see what it is. First day of school jitters. Whether you are starting a new school or you will be surrounded by friends, it's not uncommon to have first day of school jitters. If you find yourself being nervous about the big day, there are a few things you can do to calm yourself. The day before the first day of school, get plenty of exercise. This will clear your brain and make you too tired to worry about the next day. If that doesn't work, try talking it out with someone or writing down your anxieties. Getting everything out that worries you will help it to not have power over you. If you are lying awake in bed the night before, try counting backwards from 100. This will give you a task that will distract your brain from the anxiety. Optimize study time. One of the most important parts of learning is getting enough study time. Thankfully, there are a few tricks that you can use to optimize your study time. Use the Pomodoro method. This means you study hard for 25 minutes. Then take a five minute break. Every third break should be 20 minutes long. Do this until all your work is finished and see how much you get accomplished. You should also try studying your notes the same day you take them. This is when your retention rate is highest, so you will be more likely to actually remember the lesson better. Another easy hack is to study while chewing a flavor of gum you aren't familiar with. Then chew the same gum during your test. The flavor will jog your memory when it's time for those hard-hitting questions. We are very excited to show you our new platform, The Premium. Get early access to thousands of videos from your favorite channels, including The Taco, The Things, The Trendy, and The Richest. It's all in one place and ad-free browsing. Sign up for The Premium for free and get ready to binge watch just one more video. Open your locker. If you've never had a locker before, there is a good chance you've never had to deal with a pesky lock. Some schools don't provide lockers with built-in locks, so you'll have to buy your own. But if your school does have assigned lockers with built-in locks, you may have a little anxiety about getting it open. Don't worry, we have your back. It's as easy as one, two, three. One, spin the dial to the right a few times. This will reset the lock. Two, turn the dial to the left two times, landing on your assigned number. Three. Twist the dial to the right to your next number, making sure not to go too quickly. That's it, just pull on or up on the lock and you're ready to go. Don't worry about being popular. Being a teenager is hard enough without having to deal with social pressures to fit in. While there are people who don't want to blend in with the crowd and choose to be different, you may not be one of them. So where does that leave you? Well, if you want our honest opinion, stop worrying about it. You aren't going to stay in middle or high school forever. Chances are in 10 years, you will have a whole new set of friends anyway. You should stay focused on doing your best to give yourself a head start for your future. Even if you don't quite fit in, it's probably because you are actually a lot more interesting than some of the popular kids. Plus, it's hard work to be popular and it takes away from your time focusing on yourself. College Cafeteria Hacks If you are a college newbie, here are a few hacks you can try at your glorious new dining hall. Make your own trail mix by bringing Ziplocs and pouring things from the snack bar inside. You can use M&Ms, nuts, raisins, and pretzel sticks. If your school steamed veggies don't look appetizing, steam your own. Grab a microwave-safe dish and head to the salad bar. Pick your desired vegetables, splash some water on top, and zap them in the microwave for 30 seconds. If you have a sweet tooth but don't want to splurge on calories, melt the caramel from the ice cream station in the microwave. Now grab an apple from the salad bar and enjoy a yummy apple and caramel dipping sauce dessert. Motivational Playlist we have good news for you music lovers out there. Listening to music while you study is actually good for you. One of the best ways to motivate yourself for studying is making a playlist. There are several genres suggested for this, but it all boils down to personal taste. If you need to get a study session in quickly, use suspenseful music from a movie soundtrack. It will not only motivate you, but it will make you feel like you're saving the world with your knowledge. Or for something more laid back, try classical music. Listening to composers like Mozart can help charge your brain and Studies show you might do better on tests. Gym shoes. 
The struggle is real when you find out you have to incorporate gym class into your daily routine. To help make your life a little easier, there are a few tips for storing your smelly gym shoes. First, always keep a cheap pair of gym shoes in your locker. That way, you don't have to carry them around or have them clash with your outfit every day. Second, keep your shoes smelling fresh by placing dry tea bags in each shoe after wearing. Lastly, if you don't have tea bags handy, try using dryer sheets instead. That will keep your shoes from smelling up your locker and keep you feeling fresh in class. Don't use Google. Thanks to the internet, we have a world of knowledge at our fingertips. That doesn't mean everything online is a reliable source for important school papers. That is why you should steer clear of Google. Instead, use the Scholar extension of Google, scholar.google.com. This site will only show results that are acceptable sources for your research papers or essays. That being said, you should also avoid using a Wikipedia page as a source. Instead, scroll to the bottom of the page and look at the page's references. There are probably some excellent links lurking there. Also, if you aren't great at making your own bibliography page, check out bibme.org. They have everything you need to help you build a worthy citations. Multicolored highlighter. One of the funniest things about back to school is seeing all the new school supplies that have come out over the summer. Sadly, while pins and sharpies seem to be ever evolving, for some reason highlighters are still the same old dull shade of neon colors. So, we have a trick for you to spice up your highlighter game by turning it into a rainbow highlighter. All you need are blue, yellow, and pink markers or highlighters. First, take the blue marker and draw a small square on the top one-third of the yellow marker. Then take the red marker and draw a small square on the bottom one-third of the yellow marker. That's it! You now have a fun and colorful way to mark your important notes to remember. Unblock Websites now that having cell phones and computers at school is normal, many schools have set some pesty blocks on certain websites. Some of those restrictions can be a bit ridiculous. They might even prohibit browsing educational sites, like National Geographic. If you can't access a site, but it's still appropriate for school, there is a way around your school's security system. One way to do this is to add an S to the HTTP in the website's address. For example, instead of HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.youtube.com, Com, try https colon forward slash forward slash www.youtube.com. Many sites offer both addresses and many schools only block one. If that doesn't work, try researching unblocking sites like dfilter.us and use them if you're in a bind. Locker must-haves. There are a few things every teenager should keep in their locker in case of emergencies. If you are frequently cold in class, keep a hoodie in your locker for backup. If you are someone who sometimes skips breakfast, keep a healthy snack in your locker for between classes. This will help you stay energized, and you'll focus more on learning and not your hunger. It's also smart to keep some bottled water in there as well. You never know when you will need it, plus what happens if the school's water fountains stop working. Thankfully, you won't have to worry because you will be well prepared. Index Card Hack if you are fortunate enough to have a teacher that lets you have a little cheat sheet for a test, consider yourself lucky. Most of the time, these little sheets are only the size of an index card. Luckily, we have a way for you to get twice the information on the same amount of space. All you need is the index card, a red pen, a blue pen, and those old school 3D glasses. First, write your notes with a red pen. Then, when you run out of space, write the rest of your notes on top of the blue notes with a blue pen. Now, just use your glasses to read your notes. The blue lens will cancel out the blue ink, and you will only see the red notes. Crazy, right? Memorize your schedule. The first few weeks of school means you have to get used to your new schedule. Usually, this means pulling out a piece of paper several times a day, which can get time consuming. Plus, what happens if you lose it? Thankfully, there is an easy solution for never losing your schedule and memorizing it with minimal effort. Once you receive the paper with your new schedule, take a photo of it and make the picture the background on your smartphone. Now, you'll have it on hand as a reference and you don't have to worry about accidentally throwing it away. Decorate your locker. If you are someone who loves to play around with decorations and design, start with your locker. First, you need a clean canvas, so make sure there is no trash and everything is organized. Second, one of the hottest trends is to make locker wallpaper. You can find some at your local craft store, or you can use book covering paper. Next, why not spruce up your locker space with a cute rug? Find a piece of faux fur and cut it to a fitting size. Finally, buy or make some cute magnetic door accessories, like a mirror or a pencil holder. You could even add a dry erase board to leave yourself reminders or encouraging quotes. Survival Kit 
Just like there are essentials you should keep in your locker, there are also some things to keep in your bag in case of emergencies. Find a children's pencil bag or a cosmetic bag and make yourself a school survival kit. Some smart things to include are travel sized toiletries like mouthwash and deodorant. You can also add fun treats like candy or gum. If you are worried about your appearance, leave some mascara, hair ties, and chapstick in your kit. You should also store extra tampons, aspirin, antibacterial gel, and a Tide to go pen. Now, it may sound crazy, but keep a backup pair of underwear in there. Just trust us on this one. You'll thank us later. Easy hacks. The older you get, the more responsibilities you have. No, we aren't talking about bills. We are talking about crazy long essays. Thankfully, we have a few hacks that will help you survive your next big paper. To help you stay focused, use the Freedom app. This will block internet pop-ups on your computer for a specific amount of time. If you accidentally close out a document on Microsoft Word without saving it, don't fret you can recover it. Just immediately reopen Word and click File, then scroll to Info, then Manage Versions, and select Recover Unsaved Documents. It should be right there waiting for you. To skip all this completely, just use Google Docs, which automatically saves documents every few seconds. Don't stress about lunch. Just like the first day of school can be nerve-wracking, so can lunchtime. If you are new or aren't sure where you fit in yet, don't stress about lunch. There may be plenty of places to eat alone and how you get the confidence to sit at a table of strangers. Some schools let students eat in the library or in common areas outside. Try those first if you are still awkward in the cafeteria. Hop from place to place until you find something that works for you. And don't worry about eating alone. Everyone does it at some point. Just read a book or study to keep yourself entertained. Morning Routine the best way to start your school day is by having a morning routine. If you aren't a morning person or you take a long time getting ready, don't worry, we've got you covered. For all you night owls who take forever to wake up, set your alarm and put it on the opposite side of the room. This will force you to get out of bed to turn it off. Now, if you're not good with time, make a morning playlist. Make it the same amount of time it takes you to get ready. The more you play it, the more you will be able to tell how much time you have left, depending on what song is playing. While you're getting ready, focus your attention for the day and give yourself a pep talk to aim for success. Reuse your old backpack. For some reason, it's a faux pas to have the same backpack from the previous school year. If you're on a budget or you just really like your bag, why not upcycle it? You can do this by giving it an entirely new aesthetic with splatter paints. Grab your bag, some fabric paints, a newspaper, and a paintbrush, and get to work. Lay your paper down so you don't damage anything with paint. Then dip your paintbrush in the desired color paint and fling the paint onto the backpack. Keep doing this with all the colors until you have a beautiful work of art. Finally, let the bag dry overnight and totally rock it on the first day of school. Black versus blue ink. We know we already gave you some great study hacks, but this one needed a category of its own. When you are writing your notes or studying for an exam, write everything out in blue ink. This is because you are more likely to remember information better when you write in blue instead of black. Also, you should sign documents in blue ink. Doing so makes the document seem more trustworthy. Since the signature isn't the same color as the black ink used to print the document, it's perceived as harder to fake. This works for resumes and applications as well. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, then be sure to check out behind the scenes secrets Disneyland doesn't want you to know. By the richest, make sure to comment, share, and subscribe to their channel. How many of you are ready to go back to school? Let us know if this video helped you in the comment section below. Thanks for tuning in.